aircraft design has taken huge steps since the time of Wright brothers' first flight. Yet, all modern airplanes use the same basic wing design. Before, airplane wings were able to bend to a certain extent when in flight. However, as times have changed and technology advanced, airplane wings are now allowed to bend almost twice as much when in flight to increase efficiency. One of the most important aspects for engineers to consider are normal stresses. During the flight of an airplane, the wings experience an upward lift force. As a result, this lift force produces a normal stress in the wings. What is a normal stress? Mathematically, this can be described by the following equation. Here, we have two different views of a plane's wing and the distributed force due to lift is shown on each view. We can simplify the distributed load into a single point load, P, as shown in green. Stress, as mentioned earlier, is force over area. Force here is the lift force and the area used here is the entire top area of the wing, as highlighted in blue. So forces on the wing of an aircraft come from the aerodynamic loads. And what we know is that they're distributed from the hub to the tip. And it's usually a sort of elliptical looking distribution with more of the lift happening in the inboard region. So an aircraft in steady level flight, you know, the amount of lift has to equal the weight. And if we were talking about a Boeing, not this little airplane, but then you're talking about holding a force that's about three quarters of a million pounds. That's, that's uh, the weight of a two, uh, 747. You all know when the airplane is flying that the wing will bend like this. Now that we have discussed the normal stress in the y direction, this bending of the wing also creates a normal stress in the x direction. Let's take a closer look of what is actually going on. When no lift is applied, the wing isn't bent and the two lines shown here are vertical. However, when the lift acts on the wing, it bends and the two points on top move closer together while the two points on the bottom move further apart. This indicates that the top of the wing is in compression while the bottom is in tension. The total normal stress due to bending on the wing is given by this equation. As shown, the moment acts in a counterclockwise direction around the z-axis. This means that we can ignore the second part of the equation, which takes into account the moment around the y-axis. In this equation, m is the bending moment created by lift, i is the second moment of area which is a geometric property and can be calculated easily, y is a distance away from the neutral axis. The neutral axis is where the stress is equal to zero, and it is shown here as a dashed line. The wings have to be very structurally strong. It's taken into consideration in the design, and they know when the loading would actually create uh, structural deformation to the point where it wouldn't return. And uh, beyond that, you can't actually fly. So they know where their climb limits are and their uh, roll limits, and you always fly within the right, uh, right set of forces. Thank uh you. -huh.